Let's take a look at this question. If 1200 centimeters square of material is available for us to make a box. Well, for the box, we want to have square base and an open top. And we'll try to find the biggest possible volume of the box that we can have. So this is how we do it. First of all, let's look at the diagram. So this picture right here shows you this is a box with square base. So I'll label this with x and x because the base has to be the same because of the square. And the height, I don't know. I will just label that as y. And you have to keep in mind the top is open, so there's no top. Well, we are trying to get the biggest box that we can get. So we want to get the maximum of volume. And based on the picture that we have, what we need to do is x times x. That will give us x squared and times the y. And that will be the volume equation for the box. OK, let's refer back to the original uh, situation. It says 1,200 centimeters square of material. What does that mean? That means we have to have the surface area for the box. Okay? The material is the surface area of the things that we can use to construct the box. And look at the picture. We must have a base, right? And the area for the base is will be x times x. And as you can see, I have the x squared. Okay, so that's the x squared that will be for the base, this part. So we need to have the x squared for the area for the, uh, for the base. And then on the side, here, let's look at this part. The area of the front is going to be x times y. But then we have four of them. The front, here, is x times y. And then on the side, this is also x times, times y. On the other side, it's also x times y. In the back, it's also x times y. So we have a total of 4x times y. This right here represents the surface area, and that will be the material, which is 1,200 centimeters squared. So we set that equal to 1,200 right here. But as you can see from the following equation, we have x squared times y. This is no good, but we can do this. Come here. Looking at this, by looking at this equation, I can subtract x squared on both sides. So I have 4xy is equal to 1200 minus x squared. And then divide everything by 4x. So I divide by 4x here, divide by 4x here, divide by 4x right here. This way, I can get the y by itself. And right here, as we can see, 1200 divided by 4 is equal to 200. And then we still have the x on the bottom. x squared over x, we have x on the top. And we still have the 4 on the bottom. This right here is y, and I can plug this into this y. So now the equation becomes what? d is equal to x squared times 300 over x minus x over 4. I just do that substitution. And of course, we can distribute the x squared into the parentheses. And as you can see, the x squared times the x on the denominator right here, one of the x cancel out, but we still have 300 on the top, and then one of the x right here. And x squared times this x gives us the x to a third power, and don't forget to still have the minus. So we have a total of 300x minus x to the third power over 4 for the volume now. This is much easier to take the derivative with. And we'll do that. So b prime for the derivative for the volume. The derivative of 300x gives us 300, and the derivative of minus x to the third power over 4. Bring the 3 to the front, so we have 3 over 4 and subtract 1, so we have x to the second power. And we set this derivative equal to 0 to find out the number that we care, the critical numbers. Anyways, subtract 300 on both sides. And right here, what we can do is we can just, uh, to get x by itself, we have to first multiply both sides by negative 4 over 3. So that way, this is will cancel out. So I'll do that right here as well. Multiply both sides by negative 4 over 3. And you can reduce this, this will be 100. And negative times negative becomes positive. 100 times 4 will be 400. Anyways, x squared is equal to 400. You square root both sides, you get x is equal to plus minus 20. But in a geometry situation, we cannot use negative numbers. So technically, we just want positive 20. We just want x to be positive 20. And if you do the first derivative test to check, you indeed get a maximum when x is equal to 20 um, with the first derivative right here. But let me skip that. 
Anyways, we know x is equal to 20 will be the value that we want to use. We also have to find the y. Remember, y is equal to 300 over x minus x over 4. So I just need to plug in 20 into this equation. So I get 300 over 20 minus 20 over 4 and do the computation. This is 15 minus 5. You will get 10 for the y. And therefore, to answer the question, the biggest, the largest possible volume of the box, the maximum volume right here. Use this equation, x squared times y. We know x is equal to 20, so plug in 20 and you square that times y. In another word, this is going to be 400 times 10, which is 4,000, and you include the units centimeter cubed. And this right here is the answer.